What are three important tips if you work with PowerPoint and Excel? Hi everyone, my name is Johannes. I'm a strategy consultant and on this channel I share my thoughts, learnings and experiences about consulting, management and mindset. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to it and also leave a thumb up. This will really support the channel here. And today I want to talk about three important tips if you work with PowerPoint or Excel, especially if you are at the very beginning. And tip number one that I want to share with you is that you start using shortcuts. You see, you will save a lot of time um, if you learn working with shortcuts as early as possible. And I mean, there are some basic shortcuts that everyone knows about, but basically what you should understand is that you can actually do any kind of command with a certain shortcut. And this is something that you should learn from the very beginning. So typically if you press, if you work with a Windows laptop, for example, if you press Alt, you get access to the entire menu on the top and you will see that you can access almost every command by using those shortcuts. And believe me, at the beginning, it might be a bit, you know, uncommon or uncomfortable for you because it's new and it might take a lot of time to learn that and to get uh, comfortable with that. But over time, you will see an immense progression and an immense efficiency gain. So start using shortcuts as early as possible. Force yourself. Do not touch the mouse and try to learn um, as much uh, shortcuts as possible because in the long run, this will save you hours of hours of hours of very precious time. Tip number two that I want to give to you is that you individualize your toolbar. You see, there are certain commands that you use over and over and over again. Like for example, adjusting the font sizes or like for example, changing the colors or like for example, aligning certain items. And fortunately, PowerPoint and Excel, both tools have the function to customize your toolbar. So this means that, yeah, that you can set some very um, individualized shortcuts for certain commands. And what I would do um, and what I would recommend is that you kind of try to figure out what kind of command you use very, very frequently and that you create some very important and some very useful shortcuts for those commands. Okay, you can access those commands or this option by clicking on options in PowerPoint or in Excel and then on customizing um, toolbar. And this is where you can set your individual um, commands. And I would also highly recommend to do that because this again will also save you many, many, many valuable hours. And tip number three that I want to share with you is that you practice, practice and practice. You see, especially in your first two years, it's so essential that you really, really, really become good in working with PowerPoint or in Excel because almost every task that you will do as a maybe intern, as a junior consultant, as a consultant, almost every task will be related to working with PowerPoint or with Excel. And the best way to learn that is of course to do some courses, to understand um, all the essentials, but after that to really practice a lot as, you, um, as much as you can. So wherever you are, if you do an internship, if you're still at university or if you are in a job, always try to get as much, uh, as much exposure as possible to PowerPoint and Excel. So maybe, you know, you um, raise your hand if someone asks who wants to build the uh, Excel model or who wants to build the business case. Maybe you volunteer if you want, uh, if then a important presentation needs to be prepared. If you are at university and there is a group project where you have to prepare something in PowerPoint or in Excel, you could be the one doing that. Just try to get as much exposure as possible because obviously the more you practice, um, the faster you will learn how to work with PowerPoint and with uh, Excel. And believe me, especially in your first two years, this will be a significant part of your uh, performance um, evaluations. So do yourself a favor and practice as, as much as possible. Of course, I want to know what other tips you have. So please leave it down in the comments below. And if those brought value, then please subscribe to this channel and leave a thumb up. And with that being said, I wish you a very successful day. Hope to talk to you soon. Goodbye, Johannes.